So guys, and here we are. Welcome on board Emirates Premium Economy Class here on the Airbus A380. But before we dive in this new cabin, let's talk about the elephant in the plane. Emirates, without a doubt, offers one of the best economy class products in the world, and its first class is up there as well. But their business class, and especially their infamous middle seat, never won the heart of any freaking travelers. And to be quite frank, it is overrated and outdated. Hello, and welcome on board. The most exciting feature of this next generation A380 is our new premium economy cabin. Not so long ago, Emirates introduced a new product, Premium Economy, a seat I wanted to try for the longest time. However, it always seems quite overpriced in comparison to a regular economy class ticket, and not much cheaper than a regular business class flight. So our question today is whether Emirates Premium Economy Class is actually worth it, or should I spend my money elsewhere? Let's find out on a flight today from Singapore all the way to Dubai. So guys, and here we are at Singapore Changi International Airport flying Emirates brand new premium economy class, a product I wanted to try for the longest time and find out how good or bad it really is. So now we're going to have eight hours to Dubai to find out. So let's board the mighty Airbus A380. Let's start on the ground. And to be honest, Emirates makes no difference between a regular economy class passenger or a premium one. Same line, no priority boarding or lounge access. So if these are the perks you're looking for, you will certainly not find them on Emirates. Emirates is constantly adding premium economy to more routes around the world and Singapore is one of them. I was also lucky that this flight was operated on an Airbus A380. Hi, how are you? Hello. Welcome to Second Grade. Thank you. Now at this time I won't take the iconic stairs, but walk straight into the new cabin featuring 56 seats in a 242 configuration. You sit right in the front of the plane, which helps you to exit the plane a lot faster, which I consider a great perk to have. So guys, and here we are. Welcome on board the premium economy class, brand new premium economy class of Emirates here on the Airbus A380 and to be honest it looks pretty slick nice clean fresh huge screen in front of you USB USB-C heaps of leg room as well and the seat overall is pretty comfortable spacious that's what you want a premium economy class product uh, to be so yeah I really can't wait to see what the uh, product is going to be like, uh, what food they serve, what the, how the crew is going to perform here in Premium Economy. Um, yeah, lots of questions to answer, but I'm sure we're going to do so in the next eight hours on our way to Dubai. Hi, how are you? Can I? Is a lemon mint? A lemon mint. Yeah, I have that. Enjoy, please. Thank you very much. And on Emirates, as you can see in Premium Economy class you get a welcome drink either orange juice or lemon mint juice um, so no alcoholic beverages as you used to in business class but by the end of the day it's not business class so you get something but you don't get the full thing <laughs> though the theory of one of my good friends is who's been working in the industry for many many years uh, he thinks that in three to four years premium economy will turn into a flat bed. What do you make of it? What do you think generally of premium economy? Are you a fan? Are you not? Is it a great product? Is it airlines trying to be cheap? What is your view on premium economy? Before we get airborne, please let me know in the comment section below what you think of that product. After a nice sip of my lemon mint juice, the crew handed out dry towels. No idea why they are dry, but perhaps that's a hybrid business class and premium economy thing. You get a towel, but for it to be wet, you need to pay more and fly business class. Anyways, I was also handed the menu, and yes, it will be a bit of a different experience comparing it to a regular economy class meal. And in premium economy class here in Emirates, you also have automated.
window shades. Also, this is what the recline situation is here, so I don't have to feel guilty because I'm sitting in the last row. But that is sometimes the problem with people in premium economy because you have quite of a generous recline. And then when you recline into somebody else's space, it is not always comfortable for both sides. So make sure you pick the last row in premium economy always. You can take full advantage of it. But overall, it's pretty generous, it's nice, you have a beautiful headrest and... Uh, yeah it is like a business class on a narrow body plane so if you fly on a 737 somewhere on uh, between hong kong and uh, beijing and cafe pacific you might end up with a seat like this so it's pretty comfortable but we'll see how comfortable it is on a seven hour overnight flight to dubai haven't flown on a couple of premium economy products in the past this one seems so far like the most advanced. Emirates done played its new no-nonsense safety video as they call it, which I really like because I do think that safety videos got out of control in the past years, with Qatar Airways reaching the peak with its cringe-worthy football safety video. However, we then pushed back for an on-time departure and damn, I still find it fascinating how a huge plane like the Airbus A380 can get airborne so smoothly. Just wow. But then it was time to set the table for the onboard dining experience. Before we do so, a quick word from today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, my travel companion for the past five years. So let me give you a few good reasons why you should get Surfshark VPN as well. By using Surfshark VPN, you get around online censorship. Whether you want to access TikTok in India, make video calls in the Middle East, or use Instagram in Russia. And all this while protecting your online identity, especially when using public Wi-Fi. My favorite part? finding cheaper flight deals by changing my location using a VPN and I'm also able to access different Netflix libraries or watch the highlights of my favorite football team by getting around geolocation blocking. By clicking the link in the description box below or using the code word Josh Cahill, you will get four additional months for free. And if you sit comfortably in front of your TV, just scan this QR code here and it takes you right to the offer. Now, let's go back to the review. Oh, I thought you were out. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. Oh, this one looks good. This? Yeah, it's all bad. Thank you. Okay. So a good 90 minutes into the flight, there is a hot meal right in front of me. I could choose between uh, prawn pasta or butter chicken. But since I got terribly food poisoned in Nigeria eating butter chicken, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> not that you get anyways food poisoning on Emirates. Uh, their catering is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, wanted to try something new. And um, while you don't have really any extra packs on the ground flying premium economy, you do get them here inside the cabin. The meal is a little bigger, the portions are, are nicer. Whether it tastes better or not, that's something that we're going to find out in the next few minutes. But from the presentation, it looks very lovely and very lovely so let's see very delicious very good I love it I mean genuinely I'm really enjoying this experience so far it's a nice seat great entertainment crew is lovely food is top-notch it is really really comfortable you know what I mean you, you, you can tell the difference to economy class and I've been on, I don't know, 20 flights on Emirates in economy class and this is really an enhanced product, more comfortable, it's nice, it's spacious, it's not business class but, but for everybody who knows the business class on uh, Emirates, at least on a 777, while you sit, it's pretty much the same, you know. Obviously, you can't go flat, but 
I don't think the business class seat in uh, on a triple seven is much wider than this one. So yeah, lovely, lovely product so far. So, and that concludes the meal service here on Emirates. Really, really delicious. Um, there's something that has improved a lot on Emirates, then it's the catering, because it used to be a disaster, especially in business class, and also their economy class meals were rather average, but this was pretty good. In terms of service, a little slow, given that there's only 10 passengers in premium economy. Also, uh, it's been probably half an hour since my table was cleared and there doesn't seem to be any coffee service or such which is also a little annoying so the thing is with Emirates crew there's two kinds the ones that are very passionate about customer service that worked in airlines before they were really good and I thought hey I'm gonna go for the next step and I really want to work for world-class airlines such as Emirates benefits get to see the world uh, get to learn new stuff get to do get to meet new people then there's the other kind which probably never worked in aviation before not all of them a few of them and is like, why not apply for a job at Emirates I get to live in Dubai get to party get to travel get to see new places and then unfortunately in order to get to those places on the way they have to serve people and work in hospitality which they don't like so not necessarily um, the greatest crew that you could potentially end up with but um, it's always a mix between I'd say 70 30 70 percent of crew and emirates they're pretty awesome but the other 30 percent is just mad it's also because you can't associate with the airline, the country, the culture, and they're just here for a good time, you know. And then most of the time they leave after three years as well. Let's also talk about Emirates' award-winning in-flight entertainment, which is without a doubt the best in the world. And in premium economy, you get a nice 13-inch HD screen to enjoy all these movies. On a few planes, you also can connect your own headphones via Bluetooth, which I strongly recommend since the small headphones Emirates provides aren't actually that mind-blowing. The 380 also features in-flight Wi-Fi, and for $20, you can stay connected throughout the entire flight. The speed was okay for basics like Instagram or WhatsApp, but definitely not enough to stream or watch videos. A little before arrival in Dubai, the crew conducted a snack service and in my case I was offered a little sandwich platter. Also, my coffee would eventually arrive. Also, the loo is conveniently located in the front of the cabin and exclusively reserved for premium economy passengers. The state of the laboratory was exceptional. Unfortunately, on this flight, no amenity kits are provided, which I find a little cheap of Emirates given the price tag. So it's a good 45 minutes to go until we touch down in Dubai. A crew is just handing out another hot towel, which is another perk traveling in premium economy. Um, and I share all my thoughts with you once we're on the ground in Dubai. But alone, traveling on the Airbus A380 is always such a bliss. Sometimes you even forget that you're on an airplane. There's very little noise pollution. It's comfy, it's very spacious, and uh, that's why I would always pick the trade over any other plane flying on a, on a long distance flight. But once you're on the ground, I'll let you know whether you should spend your hard earned money on Emirates premium economy or not. Thank you.
So guys, and that concludes my flight on Emirates Premium Economy. Finally, I got to try it. And very important, I just wanted to point that out before the alarm bells go on at the HR in Dubai at Emirates. Um, apart from having to wait for my coffee a little longer than usual, and the dry towel incident, the crew on this flight was absolutely exceptional, especially the crew that was um, assigned to my aisle. Uh, she was from China and she was in a great mood. She was very kind, very lovely. And just before somebody gets into trouble, I just want to say that they performed amazing little things happen here and there. This is how we adjust. But overall, it was um, a very pleasing flight in terms of crew. Um, what I don't like about Emirates Premium Economy is don't be cheap. You don't have to not have an amenity kit on flights that you think are too short, especially in an overnight flight from Singapore to Dubai. Why not? We're paying so much money for it and it doesn't leave a good impression. I know there's a time limit, but I wouldn't do that. Pointing this out, I think the seat is amazing. It's comfortable, it's spacious. I, I think it's a perfect seat for a daylight flight. So if you start in the morning, you get to your destination in the evening and you travel up to nine hours, I think it's definitely worth spending the money on if you seek a flat bed. And seeing that differences in price aren't that bad, it's probably easier to book a flight in economy and bid on an upgrade or go straight for a business class on the 380 of the 777. Mm, it's really hard if you get the old one. Uh, but overall, it's a very refreshing product. I enjoyed it for my part. Forgetting about the price, I think it's a world-class product and I really enjoyed it. And it makes me wanna try more economy class or premium economy class products in the industry uh, just to see a comparison you know how good it really is but i was very pleasantly surprised food was good and i'm sure with the time uh, they will define it a lot more but this should be it from my side i really enjoyed this flight and uh, next week finally my africa adventure starts novel air tunis air mauritania air peace again Air Zimbabwe, Ethiopian Airlines, South African. So it's a lot of great adventures coming. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on great content coming uh, your way. Also, check out my Patreon if you want to have some extra perks, such as my key ring, early access to my videos, your name in the credits, um, and so much behind the scenes that I exclusively change uh, share with my uh, patrons. Other than that, Hit that like button, leave a comment, and let me know what you think of Emirates Premium Economy. And I hope I'm going to see you guys next week when I fly Nouvelle Air from Tunisia. Wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.